The reaction of breaking a bond is an interesting one to look at. If you break a bond, and let's take the simplest case, just a diatomic molecule, two atoms bonded together, that requires energy. The bond is an attractive interaction holding those atoms together in the molecule. In order to break it, you have to overcome that, put energy in. It's an endothermic or uphill energetic reaction. So if I have a diatomic XY bonded together, that is at low energy relative to the free atoms. I have to put energy in to get to the free atomic state. Conversely, if I form a bond from free atoms in the gas phase, that releases energy. So bonded molecules, atoms bonded together in molecules, are downhill from free atoms. And that fits together with our picture of the universe. When we look around us, we find atoms more commonly in molecules, bonded together. So that's the downhill or lower energy state of molecules is the bonded together state. So we expect that as we look about us, the more common place to find atoms is bonded together than as free atoms in the gas phase. And that's exactly what we find. So this one we can take to the bank. It's always true. If you break a bond, you always have to put energy in. It requires energy. And forming bonds always releases energy.